how to use a motion guide in Flash. If you haven't done it already, let's go ahead and open up Flash. And if you have opened it, make sure that you have your tools palette open and you have your properties palette open. And how to get to those is window, tools, and properties, properties. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to use a motion guide and how to teach it to you. We're going to just make a simple circle, which is going to represent our ball, and we're going to have it bounce in and out of the stage. All right, so let's get started. Take your circle tool. Uh, pick a gradient color that you like. I'm going to choose red. Uh, I'm going to have no stroke, so I'm going to take this and go to none. And I'm going to hold shift and click out and drag. All right, after I have that, I'm going to take my move tool to select it. So you can draw a virtual square around it or you can just simply click on it. If you have a stroke, you need to double click on it. You know it's selected because it has that grainy look. Okay, now that you've done that, modify, convert to symbol. Under graphic, we're gonna call it ball. All right, you know you got a symbol actually when you have a blue bounding box. Go ahead and move that over to the side right now. If you want to be very organized, you can call this layer one ball. Just to be, you know, in just in case you're doing a lot of layers, it's really, always a very good idea to, to name your layers. All right, so now let's go ahead, and this is the new thing we're gonna do right now. So instead of new layer, we're gonna hit add motion guide. It's gonna add its own layer of itself, a motion guide, to, and it's gonna connect it to the layer underneath. So I'm gonna click on that right now, and now it's connected itself to ball. See, it's guide ball. All right, and now I'm just gonna take um, my pencil tool and uh, to write, try to represent a um, a ball bouncing in. I'm going to give myself enough room on the on the desk here and I'm just going to draw just a real rough circle, just real rough shape. Doesn't have to be perfect, we're just getting the idea and depending on what you're drawing you know the shape will be different. So this shape is just basically I'm trying to think of what would the ball would do if uh, someone threw it and it just eventually you know just started to roll away. So that's the path that you're trying to predict as much as you can. Okay, uh, let's do this. So depending on how short or how long you want to make the animation uh, depends on where you actually put the next keyframe. I'm just going to put it on frame 20. Um, and I'm going to press F6 to create a keyframe. And on the guide layer, I'm going to press F5 on frame 20. Okay, the key to two keyframes, basically the, the, uh, the beginning keyframe is where you want the ball to start. The end keyframe is where you want it to end. So obviously on the guide layer, uh, I have the ending on the bottom right. So I'm going to just go ahead and end with it. And my idea is, I'm going to take my move tool to move it, is this little circle right here, I want to connect that to the ends of the line. So I'm going to, And there's different ways to approach this, of course. Um, but I'm just going to make sure that the end of the line is inside that little circle. Now I'm going to go to my frame 1, and I'm going to do that to the beginning of the line. And just going to make sure that line is inside that circle. Now, while I have that key frame uh, selected, I'm going to go down to the properties palette. And under tween, I'm going to select motion. And this should, in theory, follow my line. There you go. That's how you do it. Now, there's different things that you can do also. But you can actually have it rotate to make it look like the actual bounce is uh, you know, actually turning. And I can double click on this, go into its... Uh, properties and I can cha transform the actual gradient to where it looked like it would actually rotate. So what I'm doing is basically, this is all as an option, but I'm just going to make it look like it's going to maybe uh, rotate a little bit more. So I've changed the position from the center to here and now I'm going to click on frame one. I'm going to hit it rotate clockwise uh, five times. So now when it goes, it actually, if you notice the gradient is moving. So it makes it look like someone actually threw it and it's and it's rolling. Uh, how to check that out is hit command return or control return on the PC and we should see a ball bouncing and rolling off. Not too shabby for like two minutes. Cool? Hope that helps. If you need any other additional help, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you later.